here with libations and food. And we are going to have a Persian holiday inspired by our guest host, Shole Janati, who is an artist, an international artist in Persian. Persian and she inspired this, the theme of our event today. And she's going to cook a, um, our fourth course, which is a lamb course, and that's going to be amazing. And we have our other co-host and chef, Michelle Behar. And she is the traveling Epicurean. And she has been on all sorts of TV shows and has a bunch of cooking recipes everywhere all over the world. And she's fantastic. And she's going to do our first and second course. First and second course, yes. That's fantastic. We're excited about that. So we are going to have two libations per course, and we're going to have five courses. And we will have judges, and they will judge which of the two libations is the best with that particular food. And one of our judges is Rachel Constantin. And Rachel is an actress and also a, a, has a wide food and beverage background. You'll find her all over Fairfield County in New York City at different events. Um, but she, thank you, we love you, and you're with us. And then we have Lyle Katz, and Lyle is a banker, mortgage banker, and I guess he was a child actor star too, so we'll be interested to hear what he has to say tonight. Very nice. And then Keith, and I don't know how to say your last name Strakula, perfectly. Strakula, how you pronounce Strakula. it. And Keith is also a banker in uh, New York City, although currently not in the New York City all the time. Um, and we're looking forward to your opinions. Um, so well, the first course is gonna be cuckoo, and it's a herb frittata. It's a Persian dish. Um, right, Chalet? Yes, cuckoo. cuckoo. Cuckoo, and it's made with uh, lots of different herbs. herbs. Of herbs. And then we have pomegranate topped on top of that um, for a little bit of a garnish. And so, what are we pairing so with that? So, we're pairing with that a rose from Provence okay. and a Sauvignon Blanc from California. Mm -hmm. Chalet Jun, how do you say uh, mm. bon appetit in uh, Persian? Nushedu. The rosé. So can, can you tell us a little yeah, bit more about that. the rosé? Yeah. Michelle, you did an amazing and job. I think I know you. One head. Cooked a rosé. Oh. And it's made of Grenache, Syrah, and some salt. And How did you prepare the, uh, the appetizer? Well, uh, many, many bags of herbs, fresh herbs. And I actually put them into a food processor because I'm injured. <laughs> so the second libation that we're tasting with this dish is um, the Sauvignon Blanc from St. Superi from California. And we selected this because Sauvignon Blanc often goes really well with a, an herby, um, vegetal kind of taste. So now we will ask our judges what they think. So Lyle. Okay. What do you think? I have I have my choice. You do? Yes. I'm going with the Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, fantastic. Because, like we said, the, what's this called? Cuckoo. Cuckoo is sweet. And then with the rosé, it's sweet and sweet. And as a dessert, maybe would go sweet dessert with a sweet wine. But in this, it was just nicer to have the sweet and then something different. And I agree. The, the uh, I think it was describing as a vegetal vegetal uh, taste. It's interesting the interweaving between the wine, the, the uh, aftertaste. Um, it, it, it keeps changing. There's like a couple of different tasting uh, tasting sensations. I think they go on that. So I'm a Saint Super. Okay. I vote for that as well. Mm -hmm. What about you, Rachel? Oh, well, I beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I can always come. All right, Rachel. Good. Um, I really like the rosé with this dish. Uh, to me, this rosé has a little more acidity, which is a nice balance. Um, the Sauvignon Blanc is very, this is very mellow one. It's not like one from New Zealand or Australia that's a lot more citrusy. So I found that a little too mellow to, to pair well with this. It was almost, just didn't have that explosion. So this one, I found it was a great balance. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, our Persian hostess, Shalai, what do you think? Well, I really do like the rosé. It's delicious. I will have that rosé with food or without food. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
It's really delicious. It's delicious. And um, as Lyle mentioned, that has sweetness, so does the cuckoo. Perhaps having the Chardonnay. Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm ruining everybody. <laughs> the Sauvignon Blanc makes it like a little bit, gives it a little sour, more sour, citrusy Which taste that um, I like it. But I would have it with both, to be honest with it's, you. They're both great pairings, right? They're very good pairings. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Michelle, what about you? Uh, I'm partial to the Sauvignon Blanc for this. I like the roundness of of it with the sweet, and I find that I think rosé is a little bit more acidic. That's what I think. And it cuts, and I really don't want it to cut that sweet. So I think that um, the pairing is for me the Sauvignon Blanc because it holds the roundness of all the flavors. Um, and Kyle, Kyle, you tell us. I'm gonna go with the Sauvignon Blanc too. Um, I do love both of them, and I do love the rosé. As Chalet was saying, it's a lovely rosé. Um, and I like, and I like both of them with it, but I, I would go with the Sauvignon Blanc. Because I felt like it was, I did like the rounding kind of feel of the wine with the The mouthfeel. Yeah. Rachel, it's good to be an outlier. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of fun. Well, she's there with Chalet. Chalet's there too. <laughs> Chalet's there too. <laughs> <There's one every laughs> Okay. Cheers. So, uh, did you? Right. Cheers. 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 Round one. Cheers. Which one did you like? Cheers. I like. Oh, we still need to know how to yeah. say that Persian. But I yeah. like this. Sure. How do you say chin chin, chin in Persian? Salamati. Salamati. Yeah, that's what you would say. Salamati. 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 Salamati.